This time, I eager to uh, arrange. Uh, I know. I, mean, I asked uh, my friends to arrange in this time. I asked in the previous visit. So, uh, actually, I would like to uh, talk about the uh, damage of this event. Rapid and detailed rapid but uh, uh, today, this, this kind of uh, uh, talk is, uh, uh, should be prior to damage assessment. So, uh, this material would be uh, beneficial uh, to you at this moment, I think. Anyway, I uh, prepare the three sets of the... Uh, Practical inspection material and tools are very uh, common in Japan. I uh, earthquake engineering, earthquake engineers, and at that time the maintenance structural engineers, because the uh, nowadays uh, in Japan and the, in other uh, advanced country. Uh, uh, deterioration of the infrastructure is the problem at home and uh, Such kind of the uh, maintenance program and earthquake damage uh, problem is uh, apparently different, but the root is the same. Uh, the difference is the acting force, uh, sizing force or um, some other many kind of actions I and mean, uh, time. This is the very normal common hammer. This is very useful to judge the uh, the level of damage. Uh, I, I can see the crack right, right here. No crack. Yes, I know. But, but, but nowadays, I asked by very many people uh, this crack is okay. This uh, house or building is okay. Uh, please uh, give me a useful comment. But the uh, first look, oh, here I am, here I am, here I am. But all, almost all the people uh, have already escaped. I had uh, uh, many times of uh, consulting that have been sent. Anyway, I will talk about uh, today's uh, talk. Uh, can I say it next? Yes. Uh, previous one. Sorry. Previous one. I done a situation and interpretation of it for a better rehabilitation and reconstruction of Nepal. Uh, this title is uh, mm, finally determined by myself. Next, please. Uh, first, earthquake damage sequence. Uh, should be uh, crucial uh, to understand the earthquake damage uh, problem and perfect ground motion uh, so that uh, uh, these are the background for understanding damage at present and in future also. Next. Important basic theory of vibration of a system. If you are uh, a graduate in high school or learning in university, uh, everybody should know that. Yeah. Probably, in Japan, uh, nobody knows. But here, most of you know. The answer is yes. Singing bell. Singing bell 
the uh, producing the sound or amplify amplifying the sound, the principle is resonance. Resonance is the key word for uh, earthquake uh, response of a system, including structures and ground. Yes. Uh, natural ferrous ground, uh, the same laws uh, can apply to uh, ground and structures in terms of the natural periods. Uh, this is a key to understanding the earthquake damage. So, this is the uh, theorem. An elastic body has its natural period of vibrations. Uh, this can be applied to any kind of uh, elastic body such as structures and ground. In the case of structures, if the structure's height is high, high rise, slender is building, or some street, uh, story building, has a longer period, natural period. Similarly, ground, deep, or and soft ground have a, a long natural period, longer natural period. On the other hand, low rise, rigid, and hard story buildings have a, a shorter <coughs> natural period. Ground, shallow, unfurled ground has a shorter natural period. Okay? Next, this, this part is the same. Natural period of ground and structures are key to earthquake motion amplification. Amplification is uh, very important. Amplification by resonance. Remind the uh, producing the sound by singing ball. Uh, if you uh, move the a bar slowly, the sound gradually and continuously uh, big, bigger. This is amplification by resonance. Earthquake motion, though it has a longer component, deep and soft ground, the shaking is uh, gets stronger. And structure is also, if the ground motion has a, a longer component, high rise, slender, or soft story buildings and structures, the response get stronger. Okay? Uh, by the Vasa, the short is uh, inversely. Next. So, after the damage sequence is uh, schematically, uh, if shown, is uh, shown schematically like this. Earthquake uh, does not produce, directly produce earthquake damage. Earthquake produced ground motions. And ground motion produced damage. Damage produced consequence. Consequence means uh, this kind of uh, uh, complicated situation or uh, fragment uh, cycle. Uh, second situation. Uh, next. Earthquake damage sequence, earthquake ground motion damage consequence has the basic variables is source, seismic source, source region, fault region, so source. And ground motion's basic variables is a site of a structure. Damage. Base value is structure's properties. 
Yes, please. Well, this is the conceptual. Uh, actual design, a uh, bio-origin design is, in the case of earthquake, location, magnitude, and mechanism. Ground motion. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is the uh, cause of damage. Direct cause of damage. Ground motion is strongly uh, influenced by, of course, distance and soil condition ground structures. But in the previous time, uh, I was uh, invited to a, a TV program. Uh, the TV anchor person uh, talk about the only magnitude. That I mean, I, I understand that. Uh, oh, their variable is only magnitude. I don't know uh, the other situation, but the basic variables in design, in terms of ground motions, is earthquake magnitude and distance between the site and the source. Distance between uh, source and site is epicentral distance or hypocentral distance, we say. Distance, this is the, uh, the second important variable. Light, you have a light. This is a light. Um, if you stand immediately below the light and gaze it, oh, very good. Huh? But the 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 far the farther the uh, your uh, film is smaller uh, against the light. But the light itself, the power is uh, always the same. Light power is magnitude. Okay? But the darkness or brightness is depending on the distance. So, if we're shifting, magnitude and distance. But the distance is uh, absolutely depending on the site. So, uh, if you have a, a news of earthquake uh, with the only information about the magnitude, but all of you have to understand the additional variables. You should uh, you should think about the distance from the source to your site. Okay, I am a professional person. Uh, in uh, Japan is a much more earthquake country. Yesterday, uh, five, five, five minus, five minus, five minus in uh, Japan meteorological agency scale, we say JMA scale. Five minus JMA scale is equivalent to uh, seven in MMR. Modified numerical intensity scale. And here, seven shaking is equivalent to the previous Gold Cup earthquake shaking in Kathmandu, averagingly. But no influence in Japan. Important thing is you should think about distance. Okay? You, do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, next, next. Next. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. No, no, no need. Why not? Yeah. Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that? Uh, 
Earthquake location, magnitude, and the epicentral distance has already uh, introduced into the uh, design procedure as a, uh, zone, a concept of zone uh, in the convention of design. Uh, your building design code, uh, NBC, uh, 105 or uh, 105 has already introduced in the uh, zoning map. Yes. Yeah. Soil condition is much more important uh, variables in design. Unfortunately, but unfortunately, uh, soil conditions are uh, considered as a site amplification. Simply, site amplification uh, coefficient in a, a conventional design a methodology. In Japan, in the United States, or in other uh, European European countries. But unfortunately, uh, according to my understanding, uh, according to the reading of the uh, uh, NBC 105 uh, the day before yesterday, uh, I couldn't find out the uh, site amplification coefficient. But this is most important issue because, because, please remind me, not only structures, ground is also an elastic body, has the <coughs> fundamental nature of resonance. If your buildings on a soft soil, longer period component is dominant. If your residence located on the uh, hard, or hard or firm soil, on the mountainous area or some terrace, uh, <coughs> soil is hard, so the natural period uh, vibration of the ground on the ground is shorter. That means uh, longer period of, uh, buildings is not sensitive, but the um, uh, masonry, masonry has a shorter period of nat natural, a shorter natural period. So on the terrace, uh, uh, sunburn masonry with uh, mud mortar, this is very, very vulnerable. This kind of consideration is begun almost 70 or 80 years ago in Japan. The great experience of a great Kanto earthquake in uh, 1923. I, I will talk about that later. And the, the damage is uh, depending on the structure's properties, as well as uh, ground motions. Ground motions is force. Structure's properties is re uh, resistance. Okay? The basic damage equation is uh, seismic action is uh, greater than the resistance of the structure or smaller. If action is larger than the resistance, damaged. Action is smaller than resistance, safe and damaged. Very simple equation. Soil properties is depending on the type of structure and structural material, and finally, uh, natural <coughs> period of vibration of the structure. Next. 
These uh, variables uh, surrounded by the box is considered in the design code. The importance of the structure or the facilities is not a structural variable, social variable. However, actual design should uh, consider the importance of the uh, society's properties, like government, governmental building, or police, hospital, hazardous facilities, of course including the schools. School is for a child. Child is for a uh, builders of a generation, uh, next generation, next generation's infrastructure or safety. School is also important. Uh, important uh, structures and facilities uh, should be considered with a high uh, number of uh, importance coefficient in the uh, conventional design. Next one. In the structural and geotechnical aspect of engineering investigation. Uh, this is uh, the aim of my investigation. The investigation to obtain initial information to be utilized, followed, detailed in, 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 in investigation from the earthquake engineering point of view for better rehabilitation and reconstruction. My issues are, are consisting of four items tentative earthquake observation. This is to evaluate ground motions during the above earthquake for future disaster risk evaluation. Um, unfortunately, uh, there are very, very few earthquake observation sites in Tajmandu Valley. And the second issue is damage assessment to buildings and structures survey in Tajmandu Valley and vicinities of actual tragedy cuts and uh, of various kinds of uh, various types of structures, and also uh, this uh, research item has the another aim. Another aim is uh, to reduce or to mitigate this kind of situation. I mean, this situation means uh, uh, people feel uh, uh, mm, uh, overestimate of the the level of damage, uh, scary feeling, uh, uh, than um, the normal situation. Uh, normal means a normal situation in other other, other country. So here are only here like drugs, or uh, many people escape, and this is uh, not so good. Okay, and the safe uh, uh, structures should be regarded as the safe structure. And the third one is the right of measurement of ground. This is to evaluate ground motion characteristics with focusing application. Later I will talk about. And the lastly, unmade vibration measurement on buildings. So, as I said uh, previously, the uh, uh, natural field of uh, structures is the basic variable for the damage to evaluate natural field. Of vibration of buildings and structures. Okay, um, I hear the, uh, some voices. I will skip the difficult issues. Next. Uh, this is the preliminary structures uh, schematical view. Uh, <clears throat> Natural area of a uh, very normal. Uh, buildings in Kathmandu. Later I will talk about the infill masonry, a uh, reinforced concrete uh, frame structure. Uh, three to uh, six story building has a uh, 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 cent of uh, natural material uh, vibration. This? Uh, roughly speaking, the same as Japan. 
roughly. And additionally, I will talk about the characteristic of the ground motion uh, recorded in the Kahane Valley. Gold earthquake has the two um, predominant period of vibration. The shorter, shorter uh, predominant is 0 0.3 to 0 0.47. This is equivalent to the uh, six, the natural period of uh, six to uh, three to six story buildings. Very, very uh, average story uh, buildings here. Additionally, many of um, you uh, have might have experienced the uh, longer period of shaking during the main shock of uh, Boko earthquake. Ooh. Ooh. Like this. This is uh, five, five or second period of uh, predominance. This is also equivalent to the uh, very high rise building. Height is uh, three to uh, three hundred, three to ah, sorry, two to three hundred meters. Very high. Um, the, in the previous visit, I watched, I consulted, uh, I was consulted uh, with regard to uh, ten to seventy story uh, apartment. Uh, house. I I have the uh, I have the vibration. Yes, yes, yes. I have a seismometer like this. I measure the uh, every uh, building. Uh, this is the um, a kind of a seismometer, a uh, micro-thermometer. Um, very small, uh, very small amplitude of vibration uh, can be detected. Uh, during my measurement of a micro-tremor on the ground, uh, my students makes me laugh or makes me hungry. Wow! Ah ha ha! This <laughs> vibration meter, like this. <laughs> Very small amplitude can be detected. Uh, uh, if, if, I have, if we had a time, if uh, time allows, I will show you later. The last Stage. Ah. By the way, uh, this is the equation of this is the equation uh, to obtain the uh, natural period of, of uh, structures. Uh, this equation, uh, the basic variable is height. Height or the number of story is the uh, fundamental uh, uh, dependent variable in empirical equations. This is cited to from the uh, Nepal building code. All of you uh, learn by heart, not by heart, uh, learn in the brain. <laughs> this is very basic. And the uh, according to my previous measurement, uh, this empirical equation is uh, almost appropriate. Next. Uh, as you know, this is the uh, time history of ground, acceleration of time history of ground at uh, uh, central part of uh, Kathmandu city. The maximum amplitude of the acceleration is almost uh, almost uh, 16 
percent G or uh, ten percent G. Uh, yeah. The you and then according to this slide, you can count the wave number pulse three pulse one yeah, one two or uh, one, two, three. Okay? Three. Uh, 13 to 15, during the 13 to 15 seconds, there are three pulses. Uh, you can calculate the division. Uh, average is uh, 4.3 to 5. This is the natural period, uh, sorry, this is the predominant period of earthquake ground motion. Next. Next one. I said, I'm sorry. Uh, the previous one, sorry. Uh, please uh, remember. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, four to five seconds is predominant. And another predominant is 0 0.3 to uh, 4. Next, please. Imagine the uh, Japanese situation about uh, skyscraper and uh, very uh, tall high rise buildings. Uh, in Tokyo metropolitan area, huge number of buildings with the height greater than 100 meters. If uh, the uh, earthquake ground motion, you can you you you. You saw in the previous slide attack Tokyo metropolitan city. Many number of skyscraper has strongly affected. So uh, you should imagine the potential future in Kathmandu Valley or vicinities. This is this can be imagined for you. The, if, if economic growth, uh, people's needs growth, uh, higher, greater, more comfortable, like this. So, uh, probably, the record of the grand motion is now studied, very, very uh, intensively studied in the world by the seismologists and the earthquake engineers, uh, especially earthquake engineers uh, focusing the longer period component. Because many advanced country has a tall buildings, a lot of tall buildings. Okay, next. This is only the information for me with regard to the longer period Period component amplification. Seven years ago, there was an uh, international uh, conference in Kathmandu. And that was my first visit to Kathmandu. In the daytime, I attended the conference. In the evening and the night and the midnight, I always on the ring road or some road for uh, uh, make, making a measurement with uh, uh, hundreds, uh, no, three hundreds of wild cow on the ring road. <laughs> First time, very scary. But second time, oh, that's a uh, <laughs> common situation. <laughs> Natural, a uh, normal situation for me. But the uh, wild dog is a very scary even now. Um, look at this. And the central part of the Kathmandu Valley is the deepest portion uh, within the Kathmandu Valley. This is the uh, speculation. But we scientists and engineers need evidence. Uh, 
evidence. Yeah. Oh, we found the longer period components that were elements on in the center of the city, but this site is very uh, short, shorter than uh, this one. That means a very simple shape like a bowl, more so that people had imagined, but the reality might be different. So, the damage distribution due to this earthquake is very, very important information about modeling of the uh, actual uh, likely um, shape of the basement structure of the Kathmandu Valley. Damage distribution, the first important. The second one is the uh, scientific evidence. Scientific evidence should be done by the uh, survey using the microtrimal measurement survey or some uh, geophysical survey. Normal material component dominant in the central part of the Taikatanku Valley. On the other hand, uh, 0.3 to 0.5 second component is also uh, predominant uh, throughout the Taikatanku Valley, but the uh, no, from north to south, the uh, shorter period is gently changing. Like this. And this may be depending on the uh, softer deposit of the uh, uh, among the left deposit, soft deposit. Next. Damage and intensity in distribution in Kashmandu Valley during the previous uh, 1933. Nepal, uh, Nepal, the hard earthquake. This uh, damage 